Did you know there's some great info on the snowfall forecast for the 2022-2023 season this year? This is for you weather nerds out there. I'm talking to you, Craig Simpson. The 2022-2023 winter season just around the corner, and many of us are very curious about how the upcoming season will shape up in terms of snowfall. Always, right? Um, winter outlooks contain an inherent degree of uncertainty since there's so many factors in the atmosphere that are not predictable months or even weeks in advance. Also, climate change is adding to the complexity of seasonal outlooks. But we have a few things that we can look at, a few variables, um, including dun 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 ENSO, which is the El Nino, El Nino Southern Oscillation, and that can provide some clues. So according to opensnow.com's Alan Smith, the La Nina pattern was present during the previous two winters when the sea surface temperatures are colder than average ac across the eastern equatorial Pacific Ocean. Say that 10 times fast. Confidence is growing that a third consecutive La Nina will occur this winter, something that meteorologists have termed the triple dip La Nina. I guess back to back to back La Ninas are fairly common, but three consecutive La Ninas are pretty rare. A La Nina pattern has persisted into the summer of this, this summer of 2022, and the long range models have been projecting that a higher than average chance of La Nina occurring into this coming winter before possibly weakening in the spring. So anyway, what does that mean? So if another La Nina were to happen this winter, um, it would only be the third time since 1950 that three consecutive La Ninas have occurred. Sometimes La Nina winters can be snowier than average across nearly all of the entire western United States. However, the past two winters, which were both La Nina winters, were underwhelming as far as snowfall here in the west. So, will the likely La Nina winter this winter finally deliver the fluffy stuff? Well, of course, it's too early to say, but there are a few reasons for optimism. Since 1980, when clusters of two or more La Nina winters have occurred, at least one of the winters has ended up being a big winter across a large portion of the West. So there's really no scientific reasoning for this, but if history has any indication, the odds of 2022-2023 being good are decent. Keep in mind that no matter how deep or how light a winter is when it comes to skiing, it's all about timing. So if you're thinking about coming up to Summit County, booking your trip seven to 10 days in advance and like scoping out where it looks like it's gonna be the snowiest is gonna be your best chance for a decent um, powder day.